an hour ago. This dog right here has charged me two or three times today. A couple times when I was trying to get it to go home. It wasn't scared of a pitchfork. Nothing. Just outside playing with my two and a half year old son. You know, trying to get outside because we can't go to a park during the the coronavirus. It's the second time I've had to call animal control on these dogs. Normally there's two of them. And uh, animal control don't come. I make a full report and they just don't come. It makes no sense. It's getting really tired of reporting it. I even told animal control I had to get the gun because I was afraid, damn, the dog was going to bite one of us. I had to make my son go inside. I don't know what else to do. I don't want to kill the dog. I've never killed a dog. Don't plan on killing a dog. It's not right. But if something ain't done about this and this dog possibly bites one, one of my family members, I got no choice. I mean, these people are constantly having multiple dogs. I mean, they've had two German Shepherds, two of these crazy little dogs. <clears throat> <clears throat> two chocolate Doberman Pinchers, which the Pinchers are as friendly as it could be. At least one of them was, because one was down here running around one night, and me and my neighbor uh, took it home and tied it up because the people were never home. So I'm to the point where I don't know what else to do. I mean, I guess my next step is to call the actual police. I mean, there's kids everywhere out here. I mean, not right now because it's cold and it's getting dark, but normally there's kids playing all the time in the street or in their yards. You see there's a big field right there. Kids are always full on that. The German Shepherd, uh, you know, you can pretty much tell it to go home and it goes home, but this dog here, it charges you when you try to get it to go home. Now, I'm in North Carolina, and I don't really know the laws if I have to end up shooting this dog. I don't want to get in trouble for it, especially considering I've reported it twice. If anybody knows what I should do, because you can't tell the owners because they're never there. And the only time they're there is late, late at night, like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. And I literally just saw the dog jump the fence. So making it to where it can't get out it's going to be almost impossible because it's literally jumping over the fence I don't know how it's doing it because I'm too scared to go over there but yeah it's crazy so if anybody's got any ideas on what I should do next please comment thanks